This is Pandora, Blondie. This is mad. What is this? Okay, are you ready, guys? This is the surprise. This is not a car, it's a creature. This is the Vision AVTR, but this is also kind of refers to Avatar the movie. Yes, this car was a cooperation between us and the people from Avatar. John Landau, Cameron and the whole design team. So That's that was mad. incredible cooperation here. Okay, you've got to see the back, you guys. This is crazy. This is where it gets really, really exciting, right? You know the blue, blue people, right? The Na'vi people in Avatar. Instead of becoming one of the blue people, you would become this car. This car would be your avatar, okay? It's like a creature in the movie itself. It becomes an animal. Watch what the back does. What? What is crazy? Guys, what? Have you ever seen anything like that before in your life? Look at all of these individual kind of, um, I suppose, hairs. They could be described as hairs or scales. It becomes a creature, right? It's almost like when you pat a cat, it kind of responds with its back arched and its, and its hairs like stand on end. That is what's happening right now. It's become its own creature. When you're in driving mode, these will all kind of face down like this and the lights will be blue. But then as soon as you brake, did you see what happened then? It kind of acts as an air brake that all kind of goes up against the, the, the airflow and it turns red. And then when you're going around corners, it will kind of move with the vehicle. So all of this, look at this, look at this. That's crazy. So if, depending on your mood, I'm going to talk about this in just a sec, but you connect with the car. The car is speaking to you and you're speaking to the car and the car knows exactly what mood you're in, what you're feeling. So all of this will be reflected in the back here. If you're feeling like really cool, calm and collected, it will just kind of like stay there. Just be really cool, slow movements. And then if you're really nervous and like got a lot of energy and you just want to go onto the track, it'll just kind of like bump around and do lots of different things in the back. So I just, this I'm completely taken with. That is crazy. This down here, you see these lights? What happens is the faster you go, the faster the lights start moving along this panel here at the back. You know, in the movie Avatar, the machines are the enemy. You know, they come in, they destroy the world. What they want to do is picture a machine that actually works with nature. All these materials are vegan. This entire interior is made out of non-animal products. This is actually from a root found in the forest. And you may think, well, you're still taking stuff out of the forest. How can that be sustainable? What happens with this root is when it becomes too overgrown it starts overpowering the other plants in the forest and it starts killing the other plants in the forest so what they would do is come in just before it gets to that point and carefully extract the root from the forest and actually make it into these materials for the car instead of it taking over the forest so that's kind of a cool idea right this is almost like as you were saying like Kind of looks like a jellyfish or some kind yeah. of moving object as uh, well. Talking to Jan Landau from, from Avatar, uh, he wanted it to be more like an animal paw, not not a typical tire that leaves marks or so something more sensual. Right. And so yeah, we got inspired by this flying jellyfishes from the movie, incorporated the light in here, and there's different use cases even here. Mm -hmm. um, you see um this is wake up, there's a charging mode too. If we do the charging mode. See, yep, when the yep. car charges, it yep. looks like uh, the energy goes in. Right. Indicators the, on the wheel. Indicators. I've never seen that turn, before. Turn indicators. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah. So instead Even of having Pandora, them on the body, you need to have a yellow <laughs> <laughs> turning indicator. All the rules still apply yeah. there, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally complete. Can't avoid them. <laughs> So the whole thing about you becoming one with the car, you may think, uh, it's just a story, whatever. 
this is why they say that because when you put your hand here on the car it responds to your hand look at that and look it starts recognizing your heartbeat it will actually pulsate with you and it will project onto your hand scan your veins and your heart and know exactly which person is sitting in in this I suppose you call it the driver's seat but it's not really <laughs> there's no like traditional functions here there's no steering wheel there's no kind of like display right in front of you telling you all of the stats etc so it pops out and then now you can actually control the car with this but you just turn it right you turn the wheel with this you see that and then you can actually move this car wait this is the crazy bit guys this car moves sideways so all the wheels will face one direction and kind of it will kind of creep along like a crab and what you do to do to be able to turn the wheels is you just turn this part here you see that and the wheels will turn in all the same direction and off you go so it's like it's almost in every single piece of this car in the way that it moves the way that it feels the way that it looks it is a creature this is quite a cool design feature. I've never seen this before either. You see how the back seat here kind of arches all the way over the top of the passenger's head and then it becomes your headrest in the front. All right, you guys, that's it. What a way to start 2020. What do you reckon? Massive thanks to Mercedes. Massive thanks to Gordon, of course, always. We love having you here on the channel. All right, guys, please like the video, subscribe to the Supercar Blondie family. We've got so much more coming this year. All right, I'm out, love you. Your avatar today is actually Bill Clinton, right? Uh, this yeah, is the, the guy you that, chose. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god.